señor Keith Sanclair, presidente de Sanclair sí, Collection y el visionario detrás de este gran proyecto. I'm getting used to microphones, eh? Those of you who were there last Thursday at the launch of the Family okay. Foundation for Puerto Rico and the, the launch of my CD called The Hurricane Sessions, available on YouTube, <laughs> Amazon, all the stations. Go buy it, because all the money goes to Puerto Rico. So let's get that one. But listen, this is an important day for Rich. It's an important day for me. Uh, it's an important day for my family. But it is, most importantly, a very, very important day for Puerto Rico. Three years ago and four weeks, we bought the first asset in Puerto Rico. What was the old ESJ Towers, now partially mare and soon to be fully branded. Fast forward three years, we have seven major construction projects approaching half a billion dollars worth of commitment to Puerto Rico and eventually creating six to 8,000 jobs in Puerto Rico. That comes, and I know the governor's heard this and all these esteemable politicians have heard it, but I do consider myself to be a Bariqua. I live here, I eat here, I breathe here, and the, the two people in the, the front row there, my son Richard, stand up Richard, because you are such a blessing. <laughs> Three seats over from him is his future mother and stepmother, I guess. <laughs> so Amy and I are getting married on the Sunday to this week. So I guess we'll make the just for you as you can. So we'll be, we'll be rolling there. But in addition to the seven projects, we now have 11 other businesses on the island, ranging from medical tourism to construction to a whole range of things that we're doing. If you go to the airport today, you'll start to see a business called Ticket to Puerto Rico all over the airport. You go to the, the, uh, the malls, you'll see Ticket to Puerto Rico. We are in the business of promoting Puerto Rico, and in three weeks' time, you'll see a new promotion for Isla Verde Beach when we launch IslaVerdeBeach.com to promote Isla Verde Beach against the Waikiki beaches, the South Beach, the Miami beaches of the world. But it's really been a very spectacular month, and I want to focus on the last 12 days and the next 20. Those 30 days are very significant. Two Thursdays ago, we launched the Lanais of Mare, uh, a registry project for RCI, which is now in Isla Verde. This week, we topped off the Jade Hotel, the first new ground-up hotel for 25 years to be built in Isla Verde. We'll be having a big party on the 15th of December, because we'll be opening that new hotel then, and that will be the first brand new hotel in Isla Verde. Last Thursday, we launched the St. Clair Family Foundation, which is for Puerto Rico. It's for education, it's for scholarships, it's for children's medical improvement, and it's to support uh, orphanages in Puerto Rico for those children less, less beneficial than than our kids, and we're going to make a hell of a difference through that foundation. Um, those of you who were at the concert, we had a blast. Dan Carlos Canella, my, my singing partner, is here today. Um, you know, just get my record out there, brother. And at the end of the month, I'm getting married. So launch a property, top up a property, start a studio, have a concert, launch a family foundation, what the hell are we going to do next month? I have no idea. But this is the beginning of a vision here. 40 plus acres here. The concept to create a movie studio. This is going to be a completely new campus. What you see behind us down to the ocean is a new campus. We're going to be building over 500,000 square feet of a campus here, an integrated ecosystem for tourism and for film, five sound stages, offices, changing rooms, a mill, a back lot. We're going to create a museum for the history of Puerto Rican film. And I'm delighted that Marcus Zurinaga is here today because 
if there's a beacon for the, for the film industry here, it's that man. One of my investments is in his project, Santorce, which is going to be a great project for Puerto Rico. Marcus, you're, 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 a, you're, a, great, you're a great person. In addition to the Museum of Film, we're going to create a film festival center. We want to have an annual Puerto Rico film festival here for young Puerto Ricans to, to grow. We're also going to build on this campus a university of film. We're going to start to educate and create an opportunity for young Puerto Ricans to be future directors, to be future actors, to be future script writers, to be future stunt people in, this, in the film industry. And in addition to that, I have to thank Omar Marrero and Manuel Leboy, because before this press conference this morning, we signed the LOIs to develop the back two pieces of this land as well, it, which is going to be the university site, and it's also going to be here in Puerto Rico, the first film-themed hotel. We're gonna put a film movie-themed hotel, hopefully on the water at the back, and then the most important thing, more important than all of that, we want to create a ferry, a small ferry that links Bacardi old San Juan and the movie studio so that you have an opportunity as a tourist here, those 1.6, 1.8, future 2.8 million tourists coming to San Juan will have the ability, or a la Disney, a la Universal, to come here on a little ferry and go from Bacardi, go into the movie studio, see a hotel, go to old San Juan and have that triangle be an amazing opportunity for the future of tourism. Those of you that follow film will have seen that the Georgia State, the state of Georgia, put out their film numbers for 2017 last week. Amazing numbers. Georgia, 12 months, 2.7 billion of direct films and 6.8 billion of indirect revenues. 9.5 billion of film direct and indirect revenue in one state. Mr. Governor, that's what we should do here. We have to develop this 100 by 35 island as a set ready environment. This is the ultimate film destination and our vision and drive is to make that happen. All we ask you to do is to create an environment for us that is globally and economically competitive and let us do the rest. We will drive this engine like you've never seen before. Interestingly, there are some people here from Georgia, the Aru brothers and their people who are here to look and try and help with the industry in Puerto Rico, and, and we're great that they're, that, they're, that they're here. It's critical as we embark on this investment here that we get everybody's support, we create the jobs we need to create, and we make sure that we're globally competitive. So many firsts here today. A first studio, a first integrated campus, a first campus that links education with film, with tourism, and all the other amazing things that we can do here in Puerto Rico. I want to finish by going back to two firsts that happened a long time ago. Those of you who've heard me speak before may have heard this, but in 1903, two guys called Orville and Wilbur Wright took a little piece of wood 100 feet and man flew for the first time. Fast forward 100 plus years since that, and now you can go to any square meter in the world, and two pilots will be throttling forward 100, 200 tons of metal, and as they take off, they can tell you, I am going to land you on another square meter of concrete somewhere on the opposite side of the world. They will tell you in 16 hours, 14 minutes, and 26 seconds, I'm going to put you into Hong Kong. That's a big difference from a little piece of wood flying 100 feet. In 1953, Sherpa Tensing and Ed Edmund Hillary became the first people to climb Mount Everest. It took, from the birth of Christ, if you, if you follow the Christian calendar, it took man 1,903 years to fly 
and 1,953 years to get to the top of Everest. Think about it. That's progress. But nobody gets to the top of Everest and nobody flies a plane without a base camp and a team. What we've created in the past three years here in Puerto Rico is an amazing base camp. We have the Sherpas, we have the engineers, we have the technicians. My executive group are all here today. And guys, I want to thank you for two things. One, believing in me, and two, putting up with me. Because I'm a tough person to put up with, I know that. But I appreciate that. And if Puerto Rico owes anybody a debt of gratitude, it owes those seven guys and girls back there. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. You're an amazing group. Puerto Rico is an amazing place. I said to the young man sitting over there last week, I said, as you build your career and as you develop your life, always dream big. If your dreams don't scare you, I don't think you're dreaming big enough. Now is the time for Puerto Rico to dream big, have a vision, drive what Governor Rossio and his team are trying to do, and make Puerto Rico the number one place on the destination in the globe for tourism and film. What we're doing here today is we're putting what Confucius said, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one small step. This step today is the beginning of an amazing journey for Puerto Rico, an amazing journey for my family. Next time I speak in public, I'll be a married Boricua. Thank you very much. Pero, um, the people who are going to use the studio is going to be the world community of film development, content. Uh, we've had discussions with all of the major streaming companies, names that you would know, Sony, Netflix, etc., etc. The, the film industry is, is in a great changing flux situation in that if you went back 10 years and looked at how many movies were being made, and now you look at how many films and streaming and episodes for the Netflix, the Sonys, the Hulus of the world, there is more activity in the film industry today than there has ever been in history. So in terms of the users, it's going to be that. It's also going to be local Puerto Ricans. There are local Puerto Rican film directors, local Puerto Rican you know, uh, film writers. There's going to be the plethora of every aspect of film and cinematography you could imagine. And the people who are going to invest in it are me and my group and the appropriate banks to get the building done. This site, as I said, it's over 500,000 square feet. The investment in this project is about 140 million US. So it's a very, very significant project in its own right. So, um, but it's, you know, come back when it's finished and ask the same questions and you get the same answers.